I came down this Saturday morning to have a ham and cheese sandwich and a beer for breakfast. Oh, this place, the old artifacts on the wall still there. Amazing. Lovely. Let's see, John F. Kennedy is still here. Yes, he is. This place was the hangout place Kennedy. for Kennedy clowns. For yeah. so this is Irish establishment. Mm -hmm. Then Mr. Theodore Roosevelt, he was here as well drinking beer. He used to be New York commissioner, police commissioner that is. Then let's go in a little sawdust on the floor. How authentic. This place is the only place left had sawdust on the floor when customers chew tobacco and spit on the floor. This is that's what's for. But anyway, let's go find Mr. Abraham and Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. He looks like he's debating with an opponent. He used to be here and drink beer too. There is a poster from a newspaper rewarding to find the assassin of this president for $100,000 at that time. This place loved him. Mm -hmm. We go inside and this bathroom, men's bathroom was the only bathroom for 140 years, 130 years. Then 1986, they added ladies bathroom. Well, now I'm sitting, having my breakfast. Two years. And ham and cheese sandwich. Let me try the beer first. Wow, this is good, good for breakfast. Then ham and cheese sandwich, my favorite. Where's the mustard? Mm -hmm. I used to come here with friend. We contested who's gonna take more mustard, mustard rather, and somebody who has more mustard doesn't pay for dinner. Hmm, good old days. Let me taste it. Um, yeah, this is it. This is good. In this very seat, there is a poet, American poet named E. E. Cummings. He used to live in West Village, but he came here to drink. He made a poem for this place. The title is, I was sitting in Maxolis. I am sitting in Maxolis. Outside was New York, beautifully snowing. Inside, snug warm and hugging me and evil in front of me which never let you old I am interviewing with Greg he's the owner he's half Irish and half Puerto Rican and he has this beautiful wife is a bartender they now they finally have a woman bartender Yay, great. Good luck to you. In the street, I found this most fashionable couple. Uh, I work in advertising. Oh my god. So yeah. you have an office here? No, we're actually, uh, we just got in today from Austin. Austin, Texas. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin, Texas ruled in East Village. <laughs> this is, this, they, they, in the middle of the apartment buildings, I found an old gravesite. Looks so happy and serene. Nice wedding reception here? Really? Actually, New York City Department will rent this space for wedding ceremonies for fee. I'm walking into Crane's Theater this afternoon 
powerful show, Ramon show, that's what you call it. Spiritual Cheerleading 101 Seminar, that's what it is. I'm entering into this small 99-seat theater, hosting off-Broadway shows mainly, offbeat, experimental in nature, and it gives stages to uprising artists, LGBTQ community, minority, women, any genre can be played here. And they even have a small bar. A gentleman came up to me and hand me with brown bag and pencil and note. I still don't know what it is, but he gave it to me. Okay. And finally, Ramon came out. How happy she is. And she asked us to get up and shake you stress out. Okay, I'm doing that. And I'm participating. And she likes it. She gifts it. Gift. She's gifting me with treasure. So I'm going and get the treasure. Yeah, mustard. Then she said, blow out your stress. Then crunch it. Then come on down and dance. Dance as hard as you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then sit down and write down what's bothering you at the moment. I'm going home. She said, crunch it. Again, put it in the garbage. Then come on down, swing the ribbon as high as possible. You are the winner. I'm standing on. 2nd Avenue, 8th Street, St. Mark's Place, when Peter Stuyvesant, when Dutch ruled, and this place was New Amsterdam, he owned this part of East Side between 14th Street and Houston Street, and the whole East Side. He owned it, and he made farmland out of it. Then German people came in, Irish people immigrated, then, of course, Jewish people came in. They made this Yiddish Broadway. And, uh, let's see, recently, Charlie Parker, Andy Warhol, he made a home here. And rock and rollers, Madonna, Blondie, Pink Floyd, they all started their music activities here in 1970s and 80s. Punk rap, hip hop's birthplace, and this was a center of underground culture. Especially those musicians were anti-folks and various poor artists, poor students, hippies, bohemians. There is a kosher luncheonette who fed all these people here for 90 years. And Rocky Graciano, Jackie Gleason, Paul Newman was here too. Matzo ball soup. Hmm, I don't know why people eat matzo, but anyway, it's good. I cannot complain. Then white fish melt with challah bread. Toast it kosher bread looks good right oh god this is good then fried blintz this will be better if i do with applesauce yes applesauce Now, I, I, what I know about kosher is you don't eat beef and milk together. Maybe because you're eating mother's meat and baby food together, that's taboo. And pork you don't eat. And 
shrimp you don't eat. And that's basically what I know. And even if it's owned by Polish lady now, and all the workers are Mexican and Egyptians, they also keep very kosher. And I want to speak to this guy behind the counter. Very kosher place. What's your name? Leo. Leo just cooked for me all those food that we saw. Leo, how long have you been here? 34 years. 34 years. Yeah. Are you a Jewish? Yeah. Are you a Jewish? My drink's here. <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Leo is from Mexico. Been here 35 years. So you know everything about kosher food. Yeah. <laughs> this place is very different. Okay. 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 So what is your kosher? To me? Yeah. What is your kosher? Everything. Explain everything. to me what kosher is. It's everything kosher. Yeah. Okay. Everything. So tell me what the kosher is. It's a kosher is a Jewish food. But you know, the Jewish food. Jewish food. St. Mark's Place, 8th Street. If you're lucky, you could come across with some interesting glimpse in the street. Let's see what we're seeing. Oops! Yes, lucky day. Isn't it? And what's this? It's only a barber shop, but the front is it's so cool. Really, I really appreciate this shop. And what is this? I love to get in. Oh my God, this goldfish pond. And the bird. Do you see the bird drinking? This place, in Alphabet Avenue, so we have several of these parks, the community parks that they let the community people has small lots of their own and grow, cultivate whatever they want, the flowers, the fruits, vegetables, and lucky neighbors. I see these two young lucky ladies just obtained a lot. Good luck to you, ladies. Hi. How are you? Can I take a picture of this? Uh, picture? Are we filming or is it just pictures? Filming. Video. Um, okay. Right. Is it for something? Or? <laughs> for Korean audience. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh. <laughs>
what time uh, you usually, close? Usually uh, 8, 8.30, depends on the day. The hours are um, on the outside okay. window. I'm coming here. I'm coming here. I'm coming here. Just like E.E. E. Cummings said, East Village, which never lets me on.